Okay. Is the dog in or out of it? Come on, Sancho. Okay, it is now Friday afternoon, March 1st, 2024, and Hammond is either going, in the next one minute, is going to confirm his rationalist Virgo worldview, or I'm going to have my mind completely blown. I am saying this contract, I'm going to go inside, pick up my computer, underneath the computer will be the missing contract. Your call. I don't, uh, I don't see any papers between the computer and the... Oh, fuck. Well, <laughs> oh, really? uh... I told you I lifted it. Uh, I, I, I did lift it. What is inside that thing? That's my folder that you told me to get so we could copy it. And since we didn't need it, because we found a green folder. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, Tyler, you can have a laugh. We're back to the, uh, ah. we're back to the gin and the poltergeist, the Jin, J-I-N, not G-I-N, Hambone drunk off of Jin. This is, okay. The mystery, we're back on track. Uh, Chris is still thinking we're looking for a green folder. Uh, she says, okay, that there was a green, that it was in a green folder. And the fucking thing was sitting. Both, both, uh, both of the backs of the folder All right. were green. It was sitting right here when we, uh, I put that thing right there. I went over. I made our coffee. We went out, got on that goddamn gator, went and had our coffee. The trailer was locked up tight. We were gone, opened the computer. We were gone for less than an hour. We came back. That folder was gone. Nice. Folder, or loose, a whatever. A different shade of green. green deep <sighs> fuck. Green and both, both sides. Like this other green folder, which <laughs> I wondered about, is a different green and has white on the back. And I thought, I didn't remember that it had white on the back. Well, it didn't. Okay, so the poltergeist came right here between 8.30 and 9.30 on, uh, on Wednesday morning, came into this lock trailer while we were a block away, stole that fucking folder, and disappeared into the ethers with it. All right. I am a... Uh, Well, they dematerialized. They but they weren't physical, so they didn't, you know, yeah. they closed the dematerialization. Uh, so they came through a locked door, they, and they took a, a three-dimensional object made of paper and cardboard out of the locked door. They probably didn't need to use the door. They probably, yeah, probably didn't. Now, the only, my only concern here is, is this a, because I do believe in messages from the universe, and is this a message from the universe that we should not have gotten into a contract with these buyers? It's a message from the universe that you needed to change your Expanded world. Uh, my, uh, it's, 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 as I'm speaking, my worldview, my uh, people, a lot of people listening to this think my worldview is already too expanded because I have room for interdimensional space aliens and poltergeists in my worldview. And a lot of people listening to this have no room for interdimensional space aliens or pol I have already... I had, I have already crossed the interdimensional space alien and the poltergeist 
benchmarks in my spiritual evolution, but I'm still having a problem with a, a even the poltergeist, although an interdimensional being was able to hand, was able to physically affect a physical object, a 16 pound bucket of water, there was still the bucket and there was still the puddle of water under the bucket. So I can go there with my worldview, that an interdimensional being can do that. I have room for that in my brain. I do not have room in my brain that an interdimensional being can come through a wall or a plate glass door and, and whatever you want to call it, remove, dematerialize a three-dimensional object and make it disappear off the face of the planet. Your worldview can handle that. Yeah. There you go. And, and they also can make it rematerialize. <laughs> okay. Sancho, what are you doing? Now, now, Tyler agrees with you. Fat boy agrees with Chris. It's two to one. You guys, anyone listening to this, you, want, you understand that I am being... I am being outvoted on this. Two, two to one are telling me two college-educated, intelligent people uh, are, are both telling me they, they have room in their worldview. Way past enough at college. Uh, they have room in their worldview for an interdimensional being to come through a solid wall to dematerialize a three-dimensional objective reality object make it disappear off the face of the planet but this is what has happened i fully expect it to reappear at some unexpected moment oh, like tyler said 75 percent if you thought it would reappear um Probably an unexpected place, or the same place it was when it deemed. But I mean, guys, I want you to look. This this, this trailer ha has been cleaned. You, 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 you know, every surface was cleaned. It, it's not like this thing disappeared in, into a maelstrom of, 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 of piles of paper. This was a sixteen. Well, a legal size. What's that? Nine by sixteen inch folder. Green nine by sixteen inch folder. Eight by sixteen. With about twenty pieces of paper inside it, disappeared off the face of the planet in the space of less than one hour on a Tuesday morning. And so I finally, just so I could go to sleep Tuesday night, I, I went through in my mind every single place. And I said, okay, it has to be not in a folder, loose pages under this computer. This, so that is the only reason I've been able to sleep the past two nights. Well, then of course the, the braying donkey... Uh, so now I have to face the dawning prospect of being able to fall asleep tonight, living in a trailer, knowing, knowing if I'm asleep, knowing that an interdimensional being can come into this house whenever they want to, can take my fucking dog. Uh, Sancho's about the size of this folder. The, the interdimensional beings could take my computer Idea. There's, there's all sorts of things this interdimensional being could take. They chose that contract. Well, it's interdimensional because that means it's from your inside, doesn't it? It's just extra dimensional. Extra dimensional. Okay, let me let me get. Okay, I'm sorry. An extra. I'm mean, using the wrong word. An inter interdimensional, like my space aliens, you know, coming out of my. Uh, pituitary gland. I, I, I'm I okay with that. This is an extra dimensional being. Uh, outside, of the third outside of the third dimension. Uh, has come in here and, and, and taken that fucking contract. Alright. I am uh, for the rest of my life 
as I've told Chris and Tyler, the rest of my life will be judged ham on little tail before March 1st, 2024, and ham on little tail after March 1st, 2024. I am beginning an entirely new chapter of my spiritual evolution that I will never question anything that anybody tells me again. Chris. Chris, stand up. Stand up. Okay. Oh. Oh, there it is. No, this this is Is it the one we just brought in? Just brought in. Did you just bring that one in? I didn't bring it in. But it's that one. Where 144th place, Inglis, Florida. So, isn't this the one we found in the... No! This is the one that I've been uh, just ranting for for 10 fucking minutes. Well, okay, now, I have... Hamon has redeemed his... Uh, I guess it was up might, against this uh, green we wall. We would have seen No, no, not necessarily up against this green wall. Well, I think we would have seen it. Uh, so you're telling me while we were gone, the interdimensional space uh, alien, the what are the I the extra dimensional? See how we could not have seen this. Over <laughs> 30 minutes All right, my uh, I, okay, no, but I don't know. Uh, okay, uh, my I do not hella. Fucking Luya. Well, my spiritual evolution, as I was j just cratered again, but I, but you know, I'm only knocked back to the poltergeist, interdimensional space. I still got room for those in my brain. All right, I'm, I'm okay with those two. But Tyler and Chris, I am not ready to cross the line of an extra dimensional space alien coming through a solid wall and taking a three dimensional object. You were telling me that we never saw that in the half an hour that we saw. I've been I, I've been ranting here for no, 12 and a half minutes. We never saw So that. yeah, 42 we minutes we spent 42 no. fucking minutes we spent no. walking around this room no, and now, but when we were getting ready, you know yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. That's a weird place for it. I, it is, but... But you know why? What I did when we were packing up, I was putting shit right here, heading out the door that I would not forget. It was the first fucking thing in line. Then I had the coffee maker. I had my camera. I had my phone. Everything was lined up here. The truck was backed up right there. So going out this door, there was the truck. This was the last thing in the line. I, I had packed the fucking coffee. I had packed the camera. You know what I'm, I had packed my computer. The very last thing in the line was a green folder up against the green wall. If it had been turned that way, uh, it, I, I mean, yes, you could, I'm still not a hundred. Why wouldn't we have seen, uh, how could we have missed it? I mean, all right. I can sleep tonight. You can choose yours. I, I'm still open to the other because uh, I... Tyler, you need to be the tiebreaker. Tyler, at this point, brother, are you open to the idea? Uh, I mean, it could have been, but we, we're looking <laughs> out. How could we not have seen that? We're looking... How could we not have seen that? Oh, God. All right, Andy the Gardener, if you have suffered through these two rants, would you please leave a comment? Uh, talking to my friend Chris about the extra dimensional beings coming through solid fucking walls, dematerializing a three dimensional physical object and making it disappear. My DVD disc. Yes, which is an entirely different story. How's it different? It's two months that thing was not. <laughs> Oh, God, I have had my worldview, my sanity, my rationality has been preserved. Good God. All right. If the fuck, if I open up that refrigerator 
and these extra dimensional beings have taken our our spare ribs out of that refrigerator while we were gone and I have no ribs to put on the grill you will hear a rant <sighs> welcome back rationality I need to go cook some ribs and have a margarita after that excitement bye guys